Welcome back to my channel. I'm Official Hambly, and today we are going to be reviewing the best and the worst of the Met Gala 2021. If you guys are new here and don't know about the Met Gala, the Met Gala is a charity event that happens once a year. It is a fundraiser for the Met in New York, and it is a huge event with all of the top fashion icons and celebrities that you know and love. So this last year, we didn't actually have it in May, which is when we usually have it. We had it in September, and the theme was America, a lexicon in fashion. So this is technically a part one and part two Met Gala. So we had the one in September and we'll have another one in May. This is kind of like a, a redo for what we didn't have for COVID. So they were really wanted to split up the theme into two portions. So this first portion is America, a lexicon in fashion. So you think, for me, it made me think cowboys, leather, jeans, uh, old Hollywood, those kind of things. So let's see what our celebrities came up with. These are in no particular order because I'm not good at organizing and we're gonna see how well this goes. Starting first with Anya Rubrik. This turquoise and mesh thing was not a look for me. I don't like what's happening on the bottom half. I'm not sure if those were pants or if that's a skirt. Uh, she looks beautiful. Like, I think she's gorgeous. Her makeup and hair is gorgeous. But in terms of the dress, the, not sure what the theme was, not sure anything about it. So it definitely made my least favorite look list just because it didn't feel on theme. And even though I love everything that's sparkly and mesh, I just wasn't it. Now we are moving on to another one of my least favorite looks. It is worn by CL. The outfit is by Alexander Wang. And it's just not cute. I will be perfectly honest. Um, somebody once said it looked like a diaper with a jacket over it, and it definitely does. I do like the use of the denim and the way that their hair is styled, but overall, this was just not a look for me, and that's why it made my list of worst dressed. It hurts my heart to have this person next on the list, and it is Gillian Anderson. I love her. I love all of her bodies of work. I love the X-Files. I loved her in Hannibal. So it was so crushing to put her on this list of worst dressed. I just don't think this dress does anything for her. It doesn't feel on theme. I can kind of see where she was going with the little black dress, which is very classic, very Americana, but it doesn't fit. It's not flattering. And I just, I really had hoped for something better. I will say I do like her hair and I like the little medallion on the dress, but overall it just was not a good look for me. And it just breaks my heart because I love her. <laughs> Next on our list of worst dress is unfortunately a style icon in Euphoria and it is Hunter Schaefer. I, the only thing wrong with this I think is just the styling. I don't love it. I think that I love her hair and I love her little contacts. I don't understand the spider on the center of her face. Um, I don't love the bodice and skirt combo. The black straps just kind of feel out of place. And that's the only reason really why she ends up on the list of worst dress for me is that I just don't see the black straps doing anything except detracting from the look. Next on our list of worst dressed is Kim Petras. And I think this look really speaks for itself. The horse girl in me is really excited and the fashion girl in me is very sad. It's super camp. I think it would have done really well at the last Met Gala. But in terms of this Met Gala, it's just a little bit too odd. I I want to like it. I want to say I like it because the horse head bustier is super cute, but I just don't see it working in terms of America, a lexicon in fashion. And that is literally the only reason why it is on the worst dress list. Next up on our list is a familiar face. It is Lord's Leon or Lord Leon. I don't know how to say her name. 
Anyway, she's Madonna's daughter. I absolutely love her as a person, but this fit did not work for the Met Gala. I think my biggest issue with it is not that it wasn't cute or that it didn't fit her right. It just was the styling and the way it was styled on the red carpet. It felt more early 2000s prom than it really felt as like a Met Gala piece. And for that reason, it ended up on my worst dressed list. Next on our worst dressed list is another one that hurts my heart. It is the beautiful Natalia Bryant and her balloon dress. Again, I think it was a styling issue. I don't understand how it went in with the theme. I think she could have worn something a little bit more, more her almost. But I really liked how her hair balanced out the rest of the outfit and the shoes that matched were really cute. Definitely don't love the train. Not a huge fan of the balloon shape. Maybe it could have been a little bit shorter. Um, but overall, those are the reasons why it ended up on my worst dress list. Next on our worst dress list is Rebecca Hall. This is a Little House on the Prairie meets BDSM look that just did not work for me. I don't understand it. I think the color choices were very interesting. I like the black pleather shine against the kind of cottony blue and gold, but in terms of understanding it as part of America, a lexicon and fashion, I really didn't have much of an understanding of it. So for that reason, she made our worst dress list. And last but not least on our list of worst dress is the very unfortunately styled Vera Wang. I love all of her work. Let me preference this right now. I am a huge fan of Vera Wang. All of her designs are gorgeous. All of her red carpet designs are gorgeous. So when I saw this on her, I was just truly heartbroken. And so I really did some research onto why she chose this outfit. And it ended up being that she really wanted to showcase her own clothing on her own body at the age that she is. And I thought that that was a really good way to segue into why she chose to wear this to America, a lexicon in fashion, because she is a huge American fashion icon. So I really, I think she ended up on this list just because the styling was off. It was not the right stage for this outfit. But other than that, I love her and I love all of her clothing. And so it just breaks my heart that we had to put her on the worst dress list. And now we're moving on to the list of my favorite looks of the Met Gala 2021. And we have to start that off right with Quinana Chasing Horse and her beautiful metallic gold dress. I love the styling on this one. All of the squash blossom turquoise was so beautiful. The story behind all of it was stunning. I think that the styling and the way that she wore it and presented herself on the red carpet was just breathtaking. I know I will remember this look for a long time and that's why she earned a spot on the best dress list. Next on our best dress list is the ever iconic Lee Pace. The six foot five tall gentleman in the Tom Brown suit. I personally love this outfit for him. I love when men's fashion really takes it up a notch, especially when you're doing a take on the tuxedo style suit. I love how he accessorized with some diamonds and some really sparkly bracelets. And of course, I love the one sock that doesn't match the other. I think that that was a really neat choice in his styling. That is probably why that and the fact that he just looked really put together in this outfit and also really rugged at the same time. Those are the reasons why he definitely ended up on our best dress list of 2021. The next one on my best dress list is kind of a little painful, but I think she really deserves a spot. And that is Grimes. Grimes herself is a problematic person in some ways, but her choices in fashion is the opposite of problematic. She really nailed it on this one. Her stylist just really brought it in terms of the outfit. Um, it may also be because I'm a huge Iris Van Herpen fan, and that is why I love this dress. I also really love the color combo, the gray black, which is kind of 
you know my whole deal right now with my hair. This is the gray black. So the gray black dress is beautiful. What I really liked about it with the styling was the sword, which was made from melted down AK rifles. I thought that was a really neat touch, especially since she like really wanted to like bring it to light and show, you know, the use of words with her book and the use of weapons. I think that was a really neat stylistic choice of her to make. And that is why she makes our list of best dressed. <laughs> Next on our best dress list is a little bit of a controversial one, but it is actually one of my favorite looks of the night. And it was Sierra in this lime green football look. I think she nailed the theme. It was spot on when it came to America and Americana. Nothing is more American than football. And of course she had to pay a little bit of an homage to her sweetheart. And that is why she wore this kind of Seahawks green, really elegant sequin look. I do absolutely love that she paired it with a football clutch. I personally love the football clutch and would love to have one. I also love that she pulled her hair back and to really show off the strong shoulders that kind of mimic the shoulders of a footballer's outfit. So all of those reasons are the reasons she ended up on my list of best dressed of the 2021 Met Gala. And now it's time for our top two looks that I absolutely adored. The Rumroll. It is Billy and Barbie's looks from the Met Gala. Both of these looks are absolutely stunning. And for the longest time, they were tied in my brain. And I've just now sorted out which one is my top look. So let's take a look at that one. In a very, very close second, we have Billie Eilish's Beautiful Marilyn Monroe tribute, Oscar de la Renta made this gorgeous dress. I think I just absolutely love it because of the color, the beautiful layers of tulle, and the beautiful video that Oscar de la Renta did of the making of this dress really sold it for me. And that's why it was very closely a second to my favorite look. I think it really made Billy look grown up. It really was flattering with her. She just looked so elegant and definitely looked like a host, which is what she was for the Met Gala this year. I just, everything from the top to the bottom was perfect for her. I just really think it was beautiful and well done. And that is why it is one of my top looks of the Met Gala. And coming in at number one is Barbie's pearl and rhinestone dress. Right off the bat, I love it because of the fact that it is pearl and rhinestone combined. It is so elegant and so beautiful. Her inspiration was old Hollywood and she really nailed it with those beautiful curls in her hair, the little thing across her part. I just think the makeup and the styling and how she really was super elegant in this dress really hit all of the spots in like why I love it. But what really nailed it for me was the delicate shoes. Those were so popular in the golden age of Hollywood. And she just, from top to bottom, she really just pulled off this look well. And that is why it is my favorite look of the night. And that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments if I missed any of the dresses or any of the looks that you liked or didn't like. Let me know if you agree or disagree with some of my favorites. And I just wanna say that this is all personal preference. I personally love to see all types of fashion and what really works for me may not work for someone else and what really doesn't work for me may be somebody else's favorite. In the end, it is all subjective. And when you are looking at dresses or looking at outfits, just make sure that you remember that it's all subjective, art, <laughs> everything. So again, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more of what I do, make sure you hit the like, subscribe. <laughs> if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.